Hello and welcome to episode 159 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode will be continuing on in caves and we will be doing covering cave wall cladding. As you remember in the last episode we had a look at doing all the floors, so your floors in your mines are now looking really nice. But let's start by saying, say hello Rainstorm. Hi everyone, Rainstorm here. Hello. So yes, we're going to take a look then at improving our walls now. Like you can see with these buildings, you can see they have different textured walls. So you've got all different types, round stone pottery. Let's do the same for the cave walls. Now the first thing to bear in mind with doing cladding is your cave walls will need to be reinforced. Uh, just like we had to reinforce the floors. So it's exactly the same principle with the cave walls. So what um, me and Rainstorm are going to demonstrate is all the different materials. There's seven different materials, isn't there, Rainstorm? Yes. Yep, so we're going to do the six different stone ones and finish with the wood and give you a look at how they look. Okay, so you'll start by reinforcing your cave wall which I don't need to show because I've shown that already in a previous episode. And I'm going to start by doing a brick um, cladding. So let's see if I can pick it all up. Well, I can get it all but bar five mortar. So you need 11 bricks of your chosen material and you need 11 mortar. Okay, once you've done that, now for the uh, brick materials you need to use your trowel so you activate your trowel right click on your reinforced wall and then go to clad and choose the material that you want to clad with bear in mind when you choose this material you will notice it doesn't use one of the bricks up I'm going to choose um, just normal bricks so stone bricks but notice when it's finished that is. Oh it does use one, I thought it didn't when we tried that brainstorm. It didn't. Yeah how weird, we tried it earlier and it didn't use up one of the materials, this time it has used one up. So Take, take, take it out of your pocket real quick and put it back down on the ground and try the the, um, the wall right next to you. The other wall in the corner. Okay, so I'm going to put them back on the ground. Let's try this one here. So I'm going to right click, clad and choose marble see it didn't use it so, so why? it's a little bugged I think we can agree but they'll sort that out eventually so you can actually start the the walls just like buildings when you're you're doing the building you don't actually use the materials you're just putting like the plan down um, so this one here will still need the correct amount of materials so you can see it still needs 11 bricks and 11, you and 11 mortar but it just starts it off and shows you how it's going to look for this one though it's actually used one of the materials so it doesn't matter um, as long as we get the wall clad that's all I really care about when it's in the crafting window does it say it needs 10 or 11? let's have a look it says 10 so for the one that it's used one of the materials it's deducted it so if you do it without any materials in your pocket, you will need 11 bricks and 11 mortar. If you do it with the materials in your pocket, it will automatically take use one of them. And then you'll notice you only need to add 10, 10 of each. So I hope that makes sense. Does it make sense to you, Rainstorm, what I just said? Yes, yes it did. Well, there's a first. So, <laughs> it's so, if you, so I'll just repeat it back. If you just use your trowel and Select clad and pick one of them, and you don't have the inventory in your pocket, you'll still need 11. But if you have the inventory in your pocket, it will deduct one, and so you'll only have to use 10. Yeah, there we go. All right. <clears throat> Glad we're all straight on that. Okay, so once you've done that, next we need to add my trowel. Can I add it from there? Yeah. Okay, and now we just need to add the materials. I've got them in my pocket, so we'll back that up to four and continue. If 
For those of you with big minds and you want to decorate them, you're going to need a lot of materials. What can I say? You're going to be busy bunnies in your minds. But you can make them look good now. Brainstorm's been doing a great job with this mine. I'm excited to work on my big project. I just think this looks so cool. <laughs> mm. And there we go. There is a stone brick reinforced cave wall. So it's got the stone brick cladding on it. And how cool is that with when you start doing your floors and your walls? So it can look like a giant moria if you stick to all the same materials. Um, that. Yeah. Okay, so that's the stone. Let's next take a look at, what's the next one? Slate. So now we're going to do slate. So let's grab what I can. Oh, I've got a stone brick left and a mortar. How weird. Okay. <laughs> Just put it in your pile and I'll grab it out. Yeah, but that's weird. I'm wondering why. It's, it's totally bugged up. It is bugged up, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It, it probably is one brick, one mortar to start it, but because you can start it without it, it's it's not synced right. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. At least I can sh I've shown the I'm, ball. I'm sure eventually it'll be, you have to have one mortar and one brick to start and then ten to finish. Yeah, bear in mind all what we're showing in the last few episodes is all brand new content in the latest updates. So, you know, they give them a bit of time and they'll fix any of these little glitches or bugs. Uh, it works though, that's the main thing. I've got my wall clad in stone and I've got one, no, I've got one material left. I'm happy. So right, let's do the next one, which is going to be slate. Again, activate your trowel, right click the wall, it needs to be reinforced. Go to clad, this time I'm choosing slate. And you can see it going along there. Uh, let's just bring up the skills window and see what we're using. So we're using masonry, for those of you that are wondering. I like the effect of just partial. It doesn't even have to be completely um, cladded. See, like, um, yeah. if, this, if this marble section would be more stone, you've got the full marble, I mean, the full stone on one, and you would have a partial on the other. Well, I think that's really good. The partial looks just like a ruin. You know, yeah. if you did all the walls like that, it would be look like a really good ruin feature. So that's like a good role play aspect, I think, doing partial. Anyway, let's finish this slate. So same as before, add it to the crafting window. And, oh, it's got my tool already. So let's just continue. It has your tool because it's the last thing you, you did with it. If you uh, had changed tools, it would have the previous tool on it. All right. Thank you for clearing that up. Now I wonder this time if it's going to use the right amount of bricks or whether I'll get one from this as well. No matter, we'll just have extra. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we have. Yeah, so it's only using 10 instead okay. of the 11, so that's fine. Let's drop that down. go so there we go there is the slate reinforced cave wall yeah it looks really nice doesn't it yeah it sure does hmm. okay let's do the next one which is pottery bricks oops i didn't steal your bricks did i no you didn't <laughs> i was putting stuff back in the crate and i thought oh why is there a pottery brick here? Right as you said, pottery brick. <laughs> oh, no, I've got enough. I, I, know, <laughs> I suspect I've got one too many. Okay, so same as before, right click, clad, this time pottery bricks. Yeah, I like that. I really like that. Yeah. Yeah. Notice you can continue by just clicking the continue then you have to keep doing that so that's why we prefer to use add to crafting window um, yeah, then you can, can queue for it, or at least you can queue for it but even 
uh, a new person can um, Q3. Yeah. It's whatever your preference is, isn't it? Let's face it, we're all different. Okay, and there is a pottery brick reinforced cave wall. Again, that looks really good. Okay, let's go to the next one, which is sandstone. And I took one out, one of the mortar and one of the sandstone out already. Oh, okay. Do you have the extra stuff in your pocket? Um, I've just got a mortar extra, so... You didn't have an extra brick? Yeah, I've put it in that pile. There it is. Oh, gotcha. Okay, let's do the sandstone. So, clad sandstone bricks. Add that to the crafting window and continue. So people are going to be asking Rainstorm, can they remove the cladding once they've put it down? Um, I have no idea. I will try. Let's Do you want to see. give that a try while I'm doing these walls? I sure will. Because I just know some of you are going to do the wrong material on the cladding and then want to strip it down. Well, can't do it with a pickaxe. Let's try a um, chisel like you can take the prepared off. I have a feeling they haven't allowed that yet. Oh, okay. We'll There's the sandstone brick reinforced cave wall. Looking good. So we got four so far. While Rainstorm's no. experimenting, I will carry on with the rounded. Nope, it's not letting me do it with anything. No? Nope, so be very careful right now until they yeah. allow us to remove it. Um, as to what stone you want to put up there. Yep. The same the flooring, it's the same way. Make once, sure. Once, once you pave the floor, you can't remove it. So be very careful with that. Let me try a shovel like we can with the... Um, yeah. No. Yeah, try no. all the different things. So, try a chisel. I tried a chisel. I tried a pickaxe. I tried a shovel. I tried a trowel. Let's try a hammer. Well, there's the rounded stone wall. Nothing with the mallet. Where's the hammer? Next, let's do the marble. Nope, not with the hammer either. Hmm. No? Nope. And I even tried with a different brick to see if you can reclad with it. No, not an option. Hmm. I wonder if I can put mortar over. Nope. Nope, can't re-mortar it, like prepare it like the floors. Hmm, that's a good idea. None of the tools that I have will work. If anybody else knows how to remove it, um, let us know, because I haven't seen anything in the Wormpedia either, and that's the Worm Online version of the wiki. Yeah, which is that not, would make for a good comment, wouldn't it? It's not, a, the in game wiki is not working at the moment. It hasn't been working since the last update. Oh, they'll fix it. Apparently, on Worm Online, theirs was not working, but theirs is up and running. Um, because they're, they can work on the servers, the live servers, um, 
they were able to get theirs up and running. We have to wait until an yeah. update. Here we go. There's the marble brick reinforced cave wall. So that's the six different types of bricks. Stone, slate, pottery, sandstone, rounded stone and marble. The seventh material of course is wood. So let's take a look at that. Now bear in mind with them they all require 10 bricks, 10 mortar. With the wood you need to use wooden nails. So let's drop this in there. I just feel like you meant wooden nails, like a wood shape or a wood nail. <laughs> you yep. meant planks, wooden planks in a nail. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to grab the nails and we're going to grab the planks. And we're going to grab the wooden nails. And don't forget you have to use a mallet on this one. Or it might work with a hammer, I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, let's give it a go, as you've mentioned that. Yes. Yeah. So Hammer or mallet. I'm going to use my hammer then because uh, I think that's a rare hammer. Anyway, I'm not sure. Let's use the hammer. So let's right click, clad with planks. And there we go. You can see it's put a few planks down. And let's now add that to the crafting window. And continue. As you can see, it needs. Although I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say ten planks because we've said yeah. eleven and it's not worked out that way. After you finish reinforcing, you will start reinforcing again. Was that just ultra quick? Oh wait, a minute. it's got the trowel, so I need to switch over to the hammer and continue. There we go. See? Told you. <laughs> Don't you start? I think with the wooden planked walls like that, it reminds me of an old western type yeah. mine. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a good theme for a mine, I think. Yeah, old western mine. And there we are. There is a wood clad reinforced cave wall. And it looks jolly good. Okay, can we show them one other thing? When you reinforce the walls, it actually, you know, these um, caves, tiles, they're actually um, cylinders that go all the way up from the, you know, from water level all the way up to the top of the mountain. That's it's just that. a giant cylinder. And when you reinforce it, the reinforcements go from water level all the way up to the top of the mountain where there's no more rock. And it reinforces all four sides. I don't know if anybody realized that. So when you clad the one tile or the one cylinder, it clads all four sides. And you can see an example of it on, on these two sides right here. So see, we only reinforce this wall. But when I reinforce this wall, it reinforces this side as well. Yeah, because so it's one cylinder. And when I the cladding on this side it cladded the side that you're standing on yeah so if it was a si <coughs> single column you'd see all four sides of it yeah uh, the same as that because it will do all four right. sides so that's a good point you can make solid columns down here out of, you know and and clad them i think that would look really cool yeah it would wouldn't it because that really yeah. would look like start to look like mori at them yeah. Halls of Moria when they was walking through them had columns that went all the way out into the darkness. Right. And yeah, so so yeah. that these can look like. So um, last week when we did the flooring, I didn't have any um, floorboards to show you the last uh, floor that you can put down. So I have some here for you, Gamestrip. Can you go ahead and show them? Yeah, so when we did the episode on the flooring, we didn't do the wood. So we're going to cover that now. So you can all see what the wooden floor looks like. Uh, so there's actually floor 12 boards. options of the floor. <clears throat> How many? 12. 12. So yeah, there's 12 different floor types. Okay, to do the floor, you need to reinforce it first of all. And... Then we need to activate the mortar, right click on the floor and prepare. Okay, now that it's prepared, we activate the floorboards. So, wait a minute, before you do that, Yeah. 
Can we show them how to remove it? I'll get you another more. So get your chisel out. And remove the uh, preparer. Yeah, so if you do the preparing and you don't want to for some unknown reason, you just right click with your chisel activated and you don't, but yeah, let's remove it then. So, and then just click remove mortar. The Nora does not accept that action, so I'm going to upset my god that I'm following. Well, click on the faithful. But I'll turn thing. it off and upset them. Let's hope it don't get struck by a lightning bolt. Right, okay, so that's how you remove your mortar if you prepare a floor by mistake. Do you have another one then? Yep. Please, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so let's redo that. Activate the clay, prepare. Activate the floorboard and then pave. Okay. Thank you for that. Sorry? So thank you for showing them that. Oh no, you're welcome. I'm glad you you um, mentioned it. And one other point to mention about that flooring. No doubt some of you are wondering, does it give you the speed boost? So let's close that. And you'll notice, yes it does. See? So you move at a faster speed on all the floors that have some covering on it. Whether it be wooden planks or round cobblestone or any of the other floor types except for the gravel I think that slows yeah gravel's slower but all the other floor types go at a nice 17.30 it is a reason for doing why people must do their cave floors because you'll better travel quicker through them I mean look at that it makes a real big difference so well worth doing I mean so the, oh yeah, go ahead. well they may not want to do the walls because that's cosmetic but Right. They most certainly will want to do the floors because that's functional. So come in this little alcove over here where we show them how to plan a building. Which, no. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. You were behind me and I didn't see you. I was following you. I know. So could you just take a quick look through here and show them the um, partial walls? Just so they can see all the different partials. I know they've seen the full solid walls, but I just wanted them to see how... Cool. Yeah. Each of the walls look together. So there's marble, pottery, rounded, sandstone, slate, slate and stone and wood. <laughs> so can they uh, clad over a vein? That's what they're all shouting at the screen right now. They're saying, oh. Gamester, you idiot, can you clad a vein? You probably can, but it would have to be reinforced first. And if you reinforce it, you can't use it. So what's the point, you know? You're bound to have someone that wakes up one morning and says, I'm going to clad all my veins in my mind today. Let me GM this. Oh, I hate... <laughs> no, I don't worry. I was just being silly, you know? It's good okay. to be silly occasionally. Okay. No one is going to want to clad their veins not unless they're on their way to their local asylum yeah and this is good quality I wouldn't do that <laughs> oh yeah no we don't want to start um, cladding the veins no if it was poor quality I'd say yeah we could show <laughs> but I guess yes. that's but the thing is yes you can reinforce over your veins but then once you reinforce them you cannot use them yeah. They'll just sit there and look like veins. No doubt there'll be trolls and griefers who go around people's minds cladding up their veins. Yeah, that would be very nice. That would be horrible, wouldn't it? So just bear that in mind. Make sure you, if you're on a public server, if you're playing Worm Online, because you know that we like to um, add information for you guys that play worm online as well make sure you've got a nice big strong padlock on your big strong gate protecting your mine on a deed otherwise you'll log in and you'll find all your veins have been clad and that will give you a very bad day yeah because there are some trolls on online that will oh, do that we've, we've experienced it firsthand we've met them all we know them by name 
Anything else we need to mention about uh, cladding? No, I think that's it. We weren't able to remove it, or at least we haven't figured out a way to remove it, and there's nothing on the wiki right now that says how to remove it. So I'm going to spend a few minutes just showing you that you can't remove. So no option there to mine or destroy. Let's try shovel. Nothing at all. Try your hammer, your mallet. Nothing um, at all. Yeah. Chisel. Even my hand. Nothing at all. So, yeah, no. And I even tried... They get the with, picture. I, I tried having mortar in my hand to see if we could re repair it. Yeah, that or, was a good idea. I even tried that on the floor and it didn't work. Um, it's just, once you put it down, there's just no option to change it, so, at the moment. Mm. And I'm sticking at the moment because things change all the time in this game. Oh yeah, they're, they're once, they've, once they've watched this video and they'll realise then, won't they? So we'll see an update to it. Okay, if you want to say goodbye, I'll say the outro. Goodbye everyone, have a great day. Thank you Rainstorm for joining me goodbye. again in this episode and all your help in uh, uh, recording it. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.